Hi everybody, I'm Howard and this is Otter's Corner. I just wanted to jump on really quickly today and talk about something that's extremely important but most people will pay no attention to. And that's the Federal Reserve's uh, Open Market Committee meeting results as far as interest rates. They came out and announced that they've decided to leave rates in place with their Fed funds target rated between five and a quarter and five and a half percent. Now, what's this mean for you? Is it important? Well, here's what happens and here's their thinking. Interest rates directly affect inflation. Sometimes it takes a long time to do that, but that's the, the ultimate end in the Fed's mind and, and in most economists' mind. As, as the Fed funds rate, and the Fed funds rate is the rate that banks charge each other for overnight lending. As it gets more expensive for banks to borrow money, it's more expensive for, for companies to borrow money from banks. These interest rates that the Fed set then affect other rates, such as corporate bond rates, rates on loans that even consumers get that you'll get for mortgages, um, home, home equity lines of credit, whatever, whatever the loans are, the rates tend to get higher as the Fed raises their target Fed funds rate. Now, the market decides what those rates are. So the Fed doesn't decide any other rates other than that Fed funds target rate and also something called the discount rate, which is the rate they charge banks to borrow directly from the Fed for overnight loans. Now, how, how's this going to affect you? If you're already retired, probably not a whole lot if you're relying mostly on Social Security. And here's the way it works itself through the economy. As rates get higher and it costs companies more to borrow, they tend not to expand their businesses. They tend to lay off more people. And because there's more layoffs, there's less demand for goods and services, and that brings down inflation. Unfortunately, it also increases unemployment. So we've been waiting to see that happen, but over the last year, employment just keeps going higher and higher and higher. GDP just came out with a, a growth rate of over 4% of, of real growth. Um, you know, we're not seeing a great uh, drop in inflation, although, you know, it went from near 9% to near 4%, but it's kind of holding steady there. So the economy is still pretty good. It's still pretty strong. Not all of you are feeling that. Not all of you are happy with it. Not all of you are seeing prices where they, you want them to be. And not all of you can afford the things you need to get through life. I understand that. I get that. Um, but, but here's with today's decision. They held rates in place, which may or may not be an indication that they're looking to hold rates steady for a while. Who knows what's going to happen as more data comes out in six weeks when they meet again. They may decide to raise rates again. They may decide to hold. My guess is we're going to see many months before they decide to lower rates. That's not going to happen for a while. So if you're on Social Security and that's your main source of income, you're not going to be affected a lot. I don't see this affecting inflation a lot. Prices will still remain where they are. You'll still get the same social security benefit and you'll still go on living your life as you have now if you're part of the group who collects social security in retirement but also has an investment portfolio the stock market responded pretty well to this uh, last i look uh, uh, stocks are up over one percent for the day the market the stock market tends to look at interest rate holds and declines as good news they don't like higher interest rates the market held up pretty well for interest rates going up about 500 basis points over the last year plus. So don't react in any way. Don't do anything with your investments. Stay the course. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. This is not going to have a huge effect on the economy. Over the long term, it's whether there's growth in profits. And if we do hit a recession, you will see a reduction in profits and probably reduction in uh, stock prices. Not always hand in hand. The stock market is not the economy. If you're holding bonds, bonds will pretty much hold steady on this. You know, bonds react very negatively to higher interest rates and very positively to lower interest rates. If you're already holding bonds, don't do anything. Don't, don't sell anything on this news. Don't buy anything on this news. It's not that much of a game changer, but it is an indication that maybe in the future, the Fed's going to hold rates where they are, and that's, that's, that's good news for the market. The market 
if, if we go into the next Fed funds, the Fed uh, FOMC meeting next uh, in six weeks from now, if they if they hold rates steady, then that, that's going to be good news for the market. I think it'll respond very positively. So again, if you're retired, really nothing to do, really not a whole lot, a lot of effect on you. If you're not yet retired and you're building your portfolio, I'd say the exact same thing. Stay where you are, keep investing, keep growing your retirement funds, keep growing your brokerage funds, keep growing your savings. The, the one thing retirees or those looking at retirement might not be happy about with this is if they're holding a lot of cash. Cash has done very well as far as going, you know, from a year and a half ago, zero interest rates. And when I say cash, I'm mainly talking about money market funds. Savings accounts don't do you anything. Take it from someone who worked in banking a long time. You don't want to have your money at a bank. Worst place possibly to put money. Have a checking account. Don't do anything else at a bank. Investment companies. Have your money at Charles Schwab or Fidelity or Vanguard or any of those those type brokers or investment companies. Your, your, your money market funds are probably well over 5% right now. Since the Fed did not raise rates, those will not go up. If you're a saver, you won't see much of a change. So again, no news. Probably good news to an extent, not bad news. Uh, stay the course. Um, Got to say... Subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, share this with others, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.